Hello and welcome to Lightwave Spy Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews of flashlights, rechargeable lanterns, and other portable light sources, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon to miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us we have the Workos, model number WK20S. This is an 18650 powered dive flashlight. I got this flashlight for $44 off Amazon and it came in a yellow white box. I like the idea of a dive flashlight. Yes, I've reviewed many flashlights, IPX8 rated, 2 meter resistance, you know, for about 30 minutes, but this bad boy is meant to go underwater and stay underwater. It's meant for divers. I love the idea of not worrying ever about light getting wet. That's a big deal to me. So let's uh, check this out. So let's see what we get in the box. I think the box is pretty basic, just a yellow white dealio. Open this up. Lots of goodies. Okay, instructions. Just gonna pull everything out and then we'll go over it all. So I'm not sure what all this okay, some of this I recognize. Alright. Yank it all out of there. Empty out this box. There we go, empty box. Okay, let's go over the stuff. I'm gonna bring this down a little bit. Get a little up close in personnel. So first thing we get is a charger. They give us a basic charger. I think these are really inexpensive. Um yeah, it takes a one amp input and outputs uh, three quarters of an amp. If you guys can see that. Um, and it hooks up to a micro USB. So pretty simple. So I get a charge light right there and mainly use it to charge your 18650s. I wouldn't put anything else in this probably. Okay. And they give you the charging cable for that, which is nice. Pretty nice. So yeah. Now us radio guys, we don't have any of these cables, do we? <laughs> yeah, we have a million of them. All right. Next, uh, they give us a nice tether, a handle for the flashlight. You can have this on your suit, attached to your suit, and then attach to the flashlight, and you can adjust it. Pretty nice. Loving that. Okay, let's see what else we get. Oh, yeah, they give us some extra O-rings. Always love to see that. Um, these are really thick, badass ones. <laughs> they're just, they're meant to just rock and keep that water out. Look at that. Nice. Okay. Instructions. Let's go over these real quick. Um, am I in English here? Okay, there we go. So there is the flashlight at a glance. A little bit of what it does. We'll cover that. A little chart there. Cover that too. Okay, some information. And this opens up like an accordion style with multiple languages. I just want to get to the extra two pages. This is really small writing. Hopefully you guys can make that out. You can zoom in. Freeze frame. Okay, pretty basic. I just want to miss anything. That's why I do this. So you guys can see what is on the manual. So that's all the um, items in English. Everything else is different languages. We can set that off over there. Next, the flashlight, the best part of the show. Yes. Okay, there it is. The work goes WK20S. I'm loving it. Just awesome feeling. Like when you're holding this thing, this is like I've reviewed quite a few 18650 flashlights, and this one just feels premium. I mean, wow. Just a tank of a light. It weighs about four tenths of a pound without the battery. So you get an idea how much this weighs. Just an amazing feeling light. Well made. Well put together. I just love this brand. This Workos brand. And I'll show you a few of their other flashlights next to this one. So you get an idea. And of course you can check out their videos. So I'm going to set this down. We'll go over some dimensions. I guess I should get up close and personnel. Okay. So for length, we have five and three quarter inches. And for diameter, we have one and five eighths of an inch. So in millimeters, we have 144 millimeters long and a 44, or excuse me, 40 millimeter head. So in the weight, I told you it was around uh, four tenths of a pound without the battery, and that's about 178 grams. Pretty awesome. So we'll do a little size comparison, and then we'll talk about features. Let me bring this back up. It's a pretty good size light. You kind of see as I'm holding it. Okay, so size comparison. Um, I reviewed the Workos FC11, which is an everyday carry light. Loving this little guy. Look how the difference there. Um, yeah, I mean, there's definitely some differences for sure. But wait till you hear the output on this thing. <laughs> it's amazing output. But there you go, the FC11. And then I did the Workos WK30. This little bad boy. This runs on a 26650 cell. This thing rocks. This has the tri-LED. You got red, ultraviolet, and then white. Yeah, this is a, this is a beautiful light. I love this light. <laughs> There's so many cool lights here. Just the fit and finish, just amazing with this brand. And of course, I have some batteries. I have a protected 18650 cell, and I have a flat top cell. 
And this is to tell you that the Workos WK20S will run on a flat top and it will run with a protected cell, a button top, and also run on an unprotected button top. So it'll run on all three styles of butt batteries, which is nice. And it even has protection if you put the battery in backwards, which is good, because you don't want to short these guys right here. That would be bad news. <laughs> There's our size comparison. All right, we'll talk about features here. Well, actually, you know what? I got Iron Man. Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He loves a flashlight with dive capability in his hand. <laughs> Gives you an idea. Let's uh, keep it out there, keep to the side. We'll do a little light, a little demo for the light. Okay, so features. Yeah, loving this light. So the front. I gotta get down close personal again. Bringing it on down. Okay, so front, as you already know, it's IPX8 rated to 150 meters. To be honest with you, probably 50 to 100 feet max you're gonna be using this for diving. Uh, most divers, I've read the reviews, said it was watertight, no problems through their dive sessions. So I'm not a diver, so I can't really test that feature. But uh, going down that distance is, is quite a few atmospheres, uh, pressure difference. You know, divers know that. The first, I think, was at 50 feet is, is the strongest. So, yeah, um, if it can handle that, you're good to go. Uh, the front here, we have a toughened glass lens with anti-reflective coating. Um, I think they use a thicker glass there. It definitely feels beefier. And they use a real strong, heavy bezel around it. Definitely a thicker style versus a standard light. You know, here's your, your standard light with your simple bezel. Big difference there. Give you an idea. So down in there, we have a ref uh, orange peel reflector. And the LED there, let's see, it's a Cree XHP 35 HD. Um, it's rated at 5,000 to 5,500 uh, Kelvin for color temperature. Um, it's supposed to be cool white. I noticed this one puts off a little bit of yellow. So it, I, don't, I don't mind it at all, but when you see the pictures in the garage, you'll notice that too. Uh, but uh, they rate that, I think, at 100,000 hours, and it runs at 2,000 lumens. <laughs> That's the crazy one. Yes, this is a 2,000 lumen light. Holy cow. <laughs> it's absolutely amazing. Um, so the body, of course, is a 6061 aircraft grade aluminum. Again, machined very well, very smooth, no sharp edges. Um, that's just key. Loving that. Um, cool setup. Uh, let's see, type 3 hard anodized finish like most flashlights have. It's good to see on this. Uh, let's see as we go here to side switch. So here's our switch. Um, it, it Somebody said it's a magnetic switch. So there's no wires to it. So it actuates a switch on the inside of the body. So there's no... Uh, travel so the only spot where water can ingress is through the back and the back has two fat o-rings which i'm going to show you in a moment so yeah you have four modes your low medium high and turbo <laughs> i'll show you that in the dark it's pretty crazy and you press long press turn it off that's how it starts now it does remember last setting which is nice so if you had it on turbo it'll remember turbo if you had it on low it'll remember low so that's a good thing to know <laughs> didn't mean to rhyme there but it did uh, so we know about the tail cap. It's double sealed, double O-ring. I'm going to show it to you in a moment. Remember's last setting. It has reverse polarity protection. Like I mentioned, if you put the battery in backwards, it will not blow up, which is good. Uh, it has low voltage protection also. This light will step down uh, as the battery uh, voltage drops. I noticed this when I first took it out of the box and tried it out. The battery is like barely charged and it like went dim. <laughs> but it still stayed lit. And it turns off at 2.8 volts so you don't undervolt your battery. Um, what's nice when you're using an unprotected cell, such as this Panasonic, uh, I don't know, what is that, 18650A Panasonic? There you go. They marked it here, 3100 cell. So that's a pretty nice one. Um, so yeah, a little bit better. This one comes with a 3000. I'll show you the one that comes with it. And yeah, one meter drop resistance. I don't think I'll be dropping this too often. It could probably handle a bigger drop because this thing just feels like it's built like a tank. I'm loving it. It also has something called ATR, Advanced Temperature uh, Regulation. It'll adjust the brightness when it reaches 50 degrees Celsius or 120 degrees, 122 degrees Fahrenheit uh, to prevent overheating of the light. Good to know. So I'll unscrew the back here. And we'll get to see the uh, double O-ring design. Let's get that into focus. There you go. Um, they greased it up really nice there, of course. They tell you to grease it every six months and clean the threads. You'll see there's a spring in the tail, and of course, they're going to see a spring down in the front there. Let's see if I can illuminate that with another light. Let me get in there and see that. Okay, so there's a spring on the inside there. So that's good for the flat top batteries. Nice. All right, so what we have here is a Workos branded 18650, 3000 milliamp hour. Yes, I tested this. A discharge, charged, discharged, recharged again, and it came out to 3000 exactly. So 
what they say is what you get. It's good to know. I right, put that back in there. And then we'll go to the garage. Take a look at some pictures I took with this thing in action. Yeah, 2,000 lumens. You can imagine what those pictures are going to be like. <laughs> and then we'll do a little quick demo with this light and do some final thoughts. So let's head over to the garage with some pictures. Okay, this first picture, the light's on turbo. Yes, super bright. <laughs> it's amazingly bright. Um, I am 15 feet away from the garage door, and this is the brightest flashlight I own. It's amazing. Uh, they rate the uh, 2000 lumens uh, mode turbo at one and a half hours. So it'll stay on this unless it overheats. Then, of course, it's going to throttle down. Or if your voltage starts dropping, it's going to throttle down also. They do say this will reach 300 meters. That's quite a throw. Next picture, the light's on high, which is 1,000 lumens, and they say this will run approximately two hours. Wow, that's still bright. <laughs> uh, next one is uh, it's medium mode, and this is 350 lumens. And this will run approximately six hours. This is a pretty decent mode. I can see myself using a lot as an average light. And next, last picture, we have the mode on low, which is 60 lumens, and they rate this at 20 hours. Again, a very useful mode. 60 lumens you could use all day long, and it's perfect. Right, let's go back to the table. Yeah, so those are cool pictures, 2,000 lumens. Isn't that amazing? But if you're underwater and it's dark, you're going to want that reach. You may not need it, but uh, it's there in case you do need it. Um, I would definitely use it on 2,000 if I had to as I was diving, say, in murky waters. So let's go ahead, turn the lights off. We'll just show you a little quick demo. I'll probably aim this at the ceiling to show you how it lights up the whole space. And then uh, we'll just file dots. So let me go ahead and actually I should turn this on. I should remember low. Okay, remember low. Good. And we'll go ahead and turn this light off. All right, so we are on low. It has kind of a, a high spot and then like kind of a flood. So it, with that uh, orange peel reflector, it helps try to break up the beam a little bit, but it doesn't do it completely. So you still have that spot beam that you need uh, when you're diving. So the light is supposed to be a cool light, but there is some yellow to it. But it's more. I think it's more like a neutral. It's nice. Okay, so I'm going to aim this up. So this is low. And I'm just going to cycle it. This is medium, 350 lumens. This is high, we're at 1,000 lumens. This is lighting up the room. The next mode, we are at 2,000 lumens. And yeah, the whole room is super bright. <laughs> um, this, yeah, this is amazingly bright. So yeah, you got the four modes. There's low again. Yeah, just, just crazy good. Loving this light. All right, so you get a little demo. Always nice to do that. Turn lights back on. All right, there we are, my good. Just a long press, turn it off. There it is, the Workos WK20S. Final thoughts on this flashlight. This would be something you buy for 40, 45 bucks. I'll be honest with you, Um, this, red, this one here is 30, and if you find yourself needing an everyday carry, just get this one here for 30 bucks. This is great. It has a port right here, you just charge it, you don't have to take the battery out. Um, this is great, it'll take 18650s. Um, just a cool setup. I would definitely check out my review on this one. Great everyday carry. Um, if you need versatility, oh yeah, I think it's mag base too. I just stuck my battery. Uh, versatility, go with the WK30. Um, this one here, I think the price is around in the 30s. And uh, here's the front. You can see the three different uh, modes you have. It has quite an intense uh, white light. You get the red LED and an ultraviolet. You get the high capacity 5,000 milliamp hour 26650 inside of this one. So this is a good versatility light, good compact light still. Uh, everyday carry, not so much because it does weigh, but uh, definitely a cool size and does quite a bit. It doesn't have a magnetic base, but it does tail stand nicely. So that's a cool one to think of. And of course, the dive light. Where does this fit in? This fits into the guy who wants a light that's always going to be working. It's going to work through dust, dirt, uh, water. This is going to handle it all. Um, just amazing. You don't have to worry about any water getting into this ever. So raining, pouring, you're rafting, you're, you know, you're in the wilds and it, you're always getting wet. It's always damp. Um, you're always getting submerged into a river, <laughs> you know, different things like that. Um, you're just worried about water getting in your flashlight. You won't with this one, but you go with a dive light, you're actually taking care of that risk. And it's just, just an amazing setup. And plus you have that reach that you need if you're hiking, um, if you're you know doing search and rescue, um, you have that ability, which is just absolutely fantastic. So yeah, the, the WK 
the WK20S has a distinct crowd for it. I'm glad I own this light. I think it's absolutely amazing. Uh, there's other lights that I bought in this price category, and I'm okay with them, but just love that water that water resistance. So, so amazing. Um, if I ever go diving, I'll take this with me. <laughs> All right, guys. There's the work of WK20S. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope I enlightened you with the, the different brand that they have here, different ones. Kind of line them up here for a final shot. Uh, two, if you like the brand, uh, check out the videos up above and hit subscribe and hit the bell icon. I also have a playlist at the end here of the Workos brand lights. And three, comment below what you think about the WK20S. Would this be something you like? Do you like the idea of that water tightness, 150 meter resistance? It's absolutely amazing. Are you more of a fan of everyday carry or are you more of a fan of multi-use? So let me know. I'd like to know. All right, guys, take care and we'll see you in the next video.